To set up auto processing options, click on Company, Setup, Program Defaults, Batch. As it states in blue, this feature is used for automatic overnight processing of invoices and auto bills. Tenants set to receive invoices and or those on auto bill who have not yet been processed will be run during SiteLink's overnight processing. A summary email will be sent to the site email address containing any processing failures and links to items to be printed. Without choosing any of these options, if you set someone up to be invoiced or if you set someone up to be on auto bill for credit card or ACH, they will come up and show you on the reminder screen that they need to be processed. By checking these options to either process an invoice or to process credit card or ACH auto bills, they will be run automatically at midnight. So for some customers, they don't want to have to click a button to select everyone to process their invoice or credit cards. They just want it done for them. And that's what this option or options allow you to do. If you check process invoices at midnight, it's going to email out your invoices. If you want to charge an invoice fee or for those that are set to have their invoice fee charge so you may have some customers that are charged invoice fees some are not if that particular customer or customers are set to have an invoice fee this will automatically go on also same thing with your auto bills if you have someone set to be auto credit card build or auto ACH build by checking these options it's automatically going to charge them rather than automatically coming up for you to process that's the distinction if you set someone up on auto bill you may think, well, doesn't that mean they're automatically going to be charged? The default of SiteLink when you have someone set up for auto bill is to automatically prompt you to click the button to charge them. By checking these options here to process auto bills, it's going to charge it for you. It's set it and forget it. You don't have to click a button. It just does that. There's an option to email receipts to include tenants scheduled for move out. Some people don't want this checked because they want to make sure, did that person move out? and not tell us by having this unchecked they will stay on the reminder screen for you to do a walkthrough and make sure they in fact didn't move out if this is checked and they're scheduled to be moved out it's going to charge their card if you have not moved them out prior to this point process individual transactions up to x value if there's a certain amount that maybe they owe a lot of money and maybe they're coming up for auction and it's a certain amount that you don't feel comfortable charging whatever that is if that's a thousand dollars or some other value you can put that in and therefore it will not charge transactions over a given point it does state that at this point in time it is a beta release this is working well but it is a new feature and we put that beta notification there if a credit card or ACH does not go through it will notify you via email